Hey there, curiosity-driven souls and aspiring polymaths. Welcome to a journey through the wonderful, chaotic world of managing multiple interests. I'm your guide, and together, we're going to explore how you can juggle all those passions bouncing around in that beautiful brain of yours. Now, I know what you're thinking, but I was told to focus on just one thing, jack of all trades, master of none, right? Well, hold on to your hats, because we're about to flip that script. You see, the full quote actually goes, jack of all trades, master of none, but oftentimes better than a master of one. Mind blown. So let's dive into the art of being a modern-day Renaissance person, shall we? First things first. Why bother with multiple interests? Picture this. You're at a dinner party, and the conversation jumps from quantum physics to 16th century poetry to the intricacies of sourdough baking. While others sit there nodding politely, you're lighting up like a Christmas tree, ready to chime in on every topic. That, my friends is the power of diverse interests. But it's not just about being the life of the party, though that's a nice perk. Having multiple interests makes you more adaptable, creative, and resilient. It's like cross-training for your brain. You never know when your knowledge of interpretive dance will somehow help you solve a coding problem. Trust me, stranger things have happened. Now, I can hear the skeptics out there. But how can I possibly make progress in multiple areas? There aren't enough hours in the day. Well, my dear time-crunched friend, that's where the magic of management comes in. And no, I don't mean hiring a personal assistant to juggle your hobbies for you. Though, if you can swing that, more power to you. Let's break it down into manageable steps, shall we? Step 1. Embrace the power of Anne. First things first, we need to shift our mindset. It's not either or, it's and. You're not choosing between being a guitarist or a painter. You're a guitarist and a painter. Say it with me. I am a insert interest here and a insert another interest here. Feels good, doesn't it? This mindset shift is crucial because it sets the stage for everything else. You're not dividing yourself into separate personas. You're building a rich, multifaceted identity. You're not spreading yourself thin. You're weaving a tapestry of experiences and skills. Step 2. Prioritize and rotate. Now, I hate to break it to you, but unless you've discovered the secret to cloning yourself or bending the space-time continuum, you can't give 100% to everything all the time. But here's the good news. You don't have to. Think of your interests like a garden. Some plants need daily attention, others can thrive with weekly care, and some are pretty happy being left alone for a while. The key is to rotate your focus. Maybe this month, you're really diving into learning Japanese, so that gets the lion's share of your free time. Next month, you might shift gears and focus on improving your rock climbing skills. The Japanese isn't forgotten, it's just moved to a maintenance phase where you're reviewing flashcards during your commute or watching anime without subtitles. You brave soul, you. This rotation keeps things fresh and prevents burnout. Plus, you'll often find that when you come back to an interest after a brief hiatus, you've gained new perspectives that enhance your progress. Step 3. Find the overlaps. Here's where things get really interesting. Start looking for ways your interests intersect. Are you into both photography and hiking? Boom! Nature photography. Love coding and music? Time to dive into the world of digital audio processing. These intersections are gold mines of creativity and innovation. They're where you'll find your unique contributions to the world. After all, it's often the combination of disparate skills and knowledge that leads to breakthrough ideas. Plus, finding these overlaps helps you make progress in multiple areas simultaneously. It's like hitting two birds with one stone, 
except no birds are harmed. And the stone is actually a fun project that lights you up inside. Step 4. Master the art of time management. Alright, let's get down to brass tacks. Managing multiple interests requires some serious time foo. But don't worry, I'm not going to tell you to schedule every minute of your day. Unless that's your jam, in which case, color code away, my friend. Instead, try these techniques. 1. Time blocking. Dedicate specific chunks of time to each interest. Maybe Tuesdays and Thursdays are for painting, while Wednesday evenings are reserved for your budding stand-up comedy career. 2. The Pomodoro Technique Work in focus 25-minute bursts, then take a 5-minute break. It's amazing what you can accomplish in these short sprints. 3. Habit Stacking Attach a new interest to an existing habit, learning a language. Listen to podcasts while you do your daily workout. 4. Use transition times. That 30-minute commute or the time spent waiting for your laundry can be golden opportunities for progress. Cue up a tutorial video or practice mental math. Yes, that counts as an interest if you want it to. 5. Say no to time wasters. I'm looking at you. Endless social media scrolling. Use that time for your interests instead. Remember, it's not about finding more time. It's about making the most of the time you have. Step 5. Embrace the power of good enough. Here's a hard truth. If you're pursuing multiple interests, you might not become the absolute best in the world at any one of them. And that's okay. In fact, it's more than okay, it's liberating. Instead of aiming for perfection in each area, aim for good enough to enjoy and contribute. This doesn't mean settling for mediocrity. It means recognizing that there's value in being pretty good at many things rather than excellent at just one. Plus, you never know when you're good enough in one area will combine with your skills in another to create something truly exceptional. Step 6. Find your tribe is One of the challenges of having multiple interests is feeling like you don't quite fit in anywhere. The hardcore guitarists might not get your passion for quantum physics, while the physicists might scratch their heads at your love of improv comedy. The solution? Find your fellow Renaissance souls. Seek out communities of multi-passionate people. They exist, I promise. Online forums, local meetups, or even starting your own Polymaths Anonymous group can provide the support and understanding you need. And don't be afraid to bridge your different interest groups. Host a cross-pollination party where your artist friends can mingle with your tech buddies. You never know what amazing collaborations might emerge. Step 7. Document your journey. Here's a pro tip. Start a blog, vlog, or even just a personal journal documenting your multi-interest journey. This serves several purposes. 1. It helps you track your progress across different areas. 2. It forces you to reflect on how your various interests inform and enhance each other. 3. It can inspire others who are struggling to embrace their many passions. 4. It creates a record of your unique path, which can be incredibly rewarding to look back on. Plus, who knows? Your documentation might turn into yet another interest, and suddenly, you're a content creator on top of everything else. Meta, right? Step 8. Be patient and kind to yourself. Last but not least, remember that managing multiple interests is a skill in itself. It takes time to find your rhythm and figure out what works best for you. There will be days when you feel scattered or when one interest takes a back seat for longer than you'd like. That's all part of the process. Be patient with yourself. Celebrate the small wins in each area. And most importantly, never lose sight of why you're doing this. Because it brings you joy, fulfillment, and makes you the wonderfully complex person you are. In conclusion, my multi-passionate friends, 
remember this. You can pursue many interests and make progress in each. It takes some juggling, some prioritizing, and a whole lot of self-awareness, but it's entirely possible. More than that, it's a beautiful way to live. So go forth and explore, learn, create, and connect those dots that no one else sees. Embrace your curiosity, manage your time, and watch as your diverse interests weave together to create a life that's uniquely, spectacularly you. After all, in a world that often pushes for specialization, being a modern-day Renaissance person isn't just refreshing, it's revolutionary. So viva la Renaissance, my friends. Your many interests are not a burden, they're your superpower. Use them wisely, use them often, and most importantly, use them with joy. And who knows? Maybe one day, when they're writing the history books, they'll look back at you and say, now that was a true Renaissance soul. Wouldn't that be something? So what are you waiting for? Go out there and start juggling those interests like the magnificent multi-passionate maverick you are. The world is waiting to see what amazing combinations you'll come up with next. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have an underwater basket weaving class to get to. Or was it astrophysics? Eh, why not both?